What's the word, y'all? The Draymond Green slash Jordan Poole altercation is wrong on so many accounts, but I'm going to talk about three pillars. First one, just the video in general. It's disturbing. We're going to talk about it. The second one is the reporting of the incident, and the third one is the reception of the video after it got leaked by us as NBA fans. Let's start off where it started off. You can tell this is Draymond Green up here. That is Jordan Poole. You can see that their, their mouths are moving. There's no sound to this video, so don't worry, but by all accounts, Bob Meyer said there was nothing being said that was too crazy. Nobody was talking about why kids you know stuff stuff like that it was normal basketball talk Draymond Green walks over Jordan Poole said get off me and Draymond Green throws that right right uh jab and uh, the, the the rest is his history I guess I mean here we are talking about it um and you could tell that this is like not a normal thing because the punch is definitely not normal but the the trash talk and getting into to each other's face that's a normal part of basketball something we can't dismiss it's gonna happen with teammates so you can see with Draymond Green and them are talking nobody's really reacting Patrick Ball with Junior got his back turned you got this one coach that recognizes something's about to happen maybe not a punch but he just doesn't even want it to get to this point it gets to this point and um yeah I don't think anybody saw that coming I'm mean, especially not Jordan Poole, let's be real. So when this originally came out as far as um the reporting, because there was no video until today. It came out a couple days ago that Draymond Green might be having some disciplinary actions from the team because he got into a physical altercation. When I saw that from Shams, you know what I did? I basically dismissed it with the idea of Draymond will be Draymond, which is bad on my account, but also bad on Draymond's account because if your character is something negative happened, well, it's gonna, he, he gonna be himself. If that is your character, something is wrong, but also by me, by dismissing something of this caliber just because one of the people involved has a history. And listen, miss me with that. Oh, Kenny, uh, Michael Jordan punched Steve Kerr, and they went on to win 72 games in the championship. I'm not even really thinking about the Golden State Warriors' uh, uh, ideas of winning a ring this season. That's the furthest thing in my mind when I see this video. Because if I'm narrowing it down to the smallest crump, these two people are co-workers. And I have co-workers. And if I were getting to a point where I'm in a physical altercation that led to me basically sleeping a man, I am getting fired. And I'm not asking for Draymond Green to be traded, released, or anything like that. But I just want people to remember these are co-workers, million-dollar co-workers for sure. And, and we're talking about sports, which is a highly competitive field. But, like, he hit a co-worker in the face. And it was like, well, whatever. And it still would be well, whatever. If the video didn't come out, because the Warriors said they're not really trying to discipline him more than, like, sit him out of practice. They're not going to suspend him. And, again, I'm not even calling for a suspension. I'm just saying there's no world where this is okay, regardless if the greatest of all time also did it 30 years ago. There's nothing that should be said that can lead you to this path, especially with the teammate. And maybe you're saying, Kenny, it was the push. Dr Jordan Poole pushed him. That's why he threw the punch. Bro, we didn't seen Draymond get pushed before. Stop, stop with that. It's Tristan Thompson did it in the finals. Or Rajon Rondo did it also in the playoff run, if I'm not mistaken. And Draymond Green didn't do nothing. And if you're saying that all oh, those are the playoffs, he didn't want to get suspended. You're, that's just so cra that's crazy logic. He can control his emotion because he don't want to get suspended from a playoff series, but he can't control his emotion when talking to, to a guy that he's want to ring with? Come on, man. That, that we have to... Hold this man accountable. And I'm not calling for a suspension. I'm not calling for him to get traded or released. But I'm just saying we cannot have like these, these crazy standards for people. And I want y'all to understand this is coming from me who's a fan of Draymond Green. I got to interview him for 30 minutes like a year and a half ago. And it was one of my favorite conversations I've ever had about the game of basketball. Like he is a very knowledgeable, very good basketball player. But there's, there are things about his character that are just objectively bad. But looking past that at this point, let's get to pillar number two, which is the reporting. So it was first reported by Shams. And, and Shams and Woj's job is to be first but vague. That's what they do. They're first vague. And then if something else comes out, they'll tweet about it later. They'll put an article about it later. But originally, it was a disciplinary action, potentially because Draymond Green got into an altercation. And this tweet is from Chris Hayes. And we follow each other. I even got him on notifications, because especially when it comes to free agency, he be getting some of those low-key deals that Shams and Woes don't even want to tweet about. But I need to know. Draymond Green is apologetic in the aftermath of the altercation with Jordan Poole. But there was a buildup statement from teammates noticing a change in Poole's behavior throughout camp with the guard on the verge of a lucrative. That word just gave me a headache. Bro, they just beat my ass. Lucrative extension league sources tell Yahoo Sports. And listen, I took that at face value. You know what I'm saying? I got a little jokey joke off. Jordan Poole saw Hero's contract and started acting different. But it's not true. 
It's not true. It's Clutch Sports. Clutch Sports, Draymond Green, Rich Paul, I feel like they control the entire league. They knew that this was about to blow over bad, so they came up with this story and say, hey, it was pool fault because he won't start talking about his, his bag that he about to get. And we know it was fake because, well, people within the organization said so. The only thing I will say is that um, Jordan has been fantastic throughout camp. There was a report that I was made aware of last night that someone someone put out there that uh, that Jordan had an attitude in camp. Nothing could be further from the truth. He's been fantastic. So disappointing to see misinformation out there. Um, but I wanted to make sure I made uh, set the record straight on that. This is Andre Godala. What we're not going to do is talk crazy about my young fella, JP. Great character kid. Miss me with all the other BS straight from the source. And Steph Curry um, also went to the podium and said that that couldn't be further from the truth. So um, how did this report get out there? Well, it is Rich Paul and Draymond Green spinning the story, so it doesn't look too bad for him. When in reality, it is. Lastly, it's about the reception of everything. From NBA players specifically, I think us as NBA fans watch the videos like, oh my God, I can't believe Draymond did this. And a lot of former NBA players and current NBA players, not all, because we're going to look at some tweets from other players, were like, how did this video get out? I'm firing my entire video staff. I'm firing this person and this person and this person instead of initially thinking about Draymond Green and what he did. And I understand NBA players and athletes in general, all these closed people, they don't want the media to kind of see these type of things. Uh, but I just, I just thought it was interesting and basically bad. <laughs> basically bad. Some NBA players giving their thoughts on uh, this is from Dan Favelle. He put this together. Draymond Green trying to get to LA. Damn. And that's from um, Trey Young, of course. The next one. It's from Isaiah Thomas. All I'm saying is you ain't responded with a punch if that's somebody you really rock with, especially after a push. But I ain't in the practice and I didn't hear what was said, so I'ma leave it alone, but damn. Evan Fournier said, there is no way you can get back to being teammates after a punch like that. And then you just got eyes emoji from, from Ja, so. And I kind of agree with what Isaiah Thomas and Evan Fournier are saying. I mean, I've never been in the NBA locker room. I'm not a high level athlete. You know what I'm saying? It's it's different there. But I, I think this is true. I mean, if I got hit in the face by one of my teammates, it, it wouldn't be like, oh, he's sorry. So we can go out and hoop again. And Isaiah Thomas said he didn't know what was being said. Bob Myers, the general manager of the, the Warriors, basically said, hey, nothing was being said that was out of the ordinary. Take my word for it. He, he says it. If you want the, the videos right here, you can click to this spot. So what's next for the Golden State Warriors? I don't really know. I feel like they're going to do a lot of things in-house. I don't think Draymond's going to get a suspension, even though I could see a world where since the video is out and now the world can see how bad it actually is, they might try to a little slap on the wrist or whatever. But I, I think that we're not going to see a contract extension from Draymond Green. I kind of thought this before this. <laughs> so maybe this is a blessing in disguise for the Warriors because they didn't want to give him max contract anyway. And now they can say, hey, he did this. And then he did the, the Kevin Durant thing three, four years ago. Uh, though we love Draymond Green, we okay with moving on to the next player, which is, I guess, in this case, Jonathan Kaminga. But with him saying he wants um, his, his money from what he's done in the past and the Warriors being the most expensive team of all time at this point and Jordan Poole being enough from extension, I, I can't see them offering him the amount of money that he wants. And now this right here is like, hey, you see what he did to Jordan Poole? We, we don't feel too bad about not giving him that contract anymore. Because I thought originally when Draymond Green said, I want the max, I was saying give Draymond the max, not because I think he deserves the same amount of money as some of the superstars in basketball, but because they have this team and they haven't really lost with it when they were healthy. When Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green have been healthy, healthy they've been great. So why would you break that up, right? Here's an excuse to break that up and not give Draymond Green that money. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. I feel like there's so much more I want to say about it, but I'm, I'm going to wrap it up here and... Um, wait to see what Jordan Poole has to say because I think they have practice tomorrow and he's going to address it and same thing with Draymond tomorrow. So maybe there's more to the story. I appreciate y'all watching.